able to have a better recording session this time. I've done a few things with uh, with my microphone and uh, done some little bits of a uh, made a creative sheath using a, a, a two liter bottle and some socks and hopefully I'll be able to filter out of much most of the uh, or block out most most of the external noise and then be able to do some minimal noise filtering so it doesn't distort my voice but uh, yeah we've got some uh, some considerate to grab I might go ahead and I'd initially come back here to empty out my inventory I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I've got plenty of space make sure I have a uh, come on make sure I have some stuff I'm gonna need oh, yeah, I got plenty of uh, reeds now. Put that up, put that up. Um, another empty bowl to put away. I don't need that. I'm going to go ahead and make the remainder of my armor here. It'll be uh, some pants and a hat. There we go, nice and protected. Box is full. Um, make uh, another chest here. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do a good. Uh, hour and a half session uh, of recording thereabouts so that I can uh, compile together at least five 15 minute episodes um, to release one a day throughout the week and uh, maybe some bonus content for the weekend because I'd, I'd like to to have enough content for people to be able to actually get into the series and enjoy it without uh, giving myself a, a ton of work to do on a daily basis because I can really only have uh, the quiet time to be able to record on uh, on the weekends. I mean, even, even my Saturdays now, uh, my mornings are getting occupied, so I pretty much only have Saturday evening to, to do a decent recording job. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I'll be able to keep up with this one. Uh, because that Terra Firma Craft is a mod that I, I really, I really enjoy playing, and despite my my headaches, I have been enjoying uh, learning the editing process and starting very slowly to to pick up some additional tricks with transitions, and I finally got myself a an intro made with some background music, and. Uh, Oh, there's some more of that nice uh, new music for the Terraformer Craft mod. There's a few really nice tracks that I like. Ooh, is that? It looks like that might be. It's something that's not. Ah. Uh, I, I do believe that's some uh, ore right there. I'm gonna have to check it out. Let's see here. I think I've got enough sticks that I can. Uh, I mean, if that is actually some ore right there, then that's that's an extremely easily accessible location. I can do some uh, underwater mining right there. Especially since it looks like it already has a, a cap of stone over it. Make things pretty easy on me. Man, my hunger's already halfway down. Let's see.
torches. Yeah, a few more torches. That's just some regular stone. You know, I saw some... Oh, and there's some sand here, too. I had seen some jack-o'-lanterns, uh, or some pumpkins in my earlier wanderings. I should probably go and grab those. Um, make lighting things up down here a lot easier. Gonna recover my planks. And uh, there we go. Let's see, where were those pumpkins? And of course it's already almost nighttime. I think the pumpkins are off over that way. Gonna head out there. And I guess those mules are actually pretty decently filling. Thinking now that I've got uh, pork and beef and eggs, um, I want to just kill myself a couple chickens and uh, make up some some high protein meals and see what that gives me. Uh, one of the cool things about the the meal system is that they're, they're, the recipes that are made are actually um, dependent on, or they're based partly on the seed of the world that you're in. So like uh, a meal of cooked egg, pork chop, chicken, and uh, beef uh, will make a, one recipe in this world, but if you went to another world, it's, it's not guaranteed to actually have all the same effects and everything. So it gives them a little bit of a, a unique variety. And I mean, there's there's some um, some really interesting ones that I've seen, like with, uh, I don't remember the, the exact recipe, but it had some peppers in it, and it uh, actually gave fire resistance, which is a pretty cool meal. Okay, now where were those pumpkins? I know I saw them when I was, uh, at least I thought I saw them when I was going after the, uh, the tomato plants that were up there. I'm not sure. And of course I still need to be on the lookout for clay. That's going to be a rather important resource if I want to start casting some ingots. Let me go. Oh, there's a skeleton sound. Let's go lay down. This looks like a a collapse happened there. So 
so I'll definitely need to be uh, careful. Uh, there's a zombie. Let's bring out the sun. it does slightly annoy me um, that I'm hoping they fix at some point is that at least in previous versions you couldn't actually plant pumpkin seeds and get them to grow um, and I hadn't seen any melons um, to know if the same applied to them but I would definitely like to be able to grow more pumpkins um, I like using them as underwater light sources Especially since we can't uh, go to the nether and get glowstone. Uh, I've actually, in a, a creative world, made a nether portal. And you can, you can build the portal just fine. You can actually light it. But if you try to actually go through it, it crashes the game and corrupts the world. So I wouldn't recommend trying it. Let's see here, we got some more eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and kill these guys so I can get some extra chicken. Wow, really? It's a pretty tough chicken. Ow. What about you? chickens only give you one chicken per chicken because that would anything more would be a little ridiculous I mean you can get a lot of beef steaks out of a cow but uh, yeah you can only get one chicken per chicken okay those meals are pretty decent even at only a, uh, what is it, a filling factor of four, that's enough to pretty much give me an entire f uh, hunger bar worth. And my javelins disappeared, hasn't it? Well, I got rocks. of feathers too. Alright, that should be enough. Let's go back. Oh, you want some? Oh, great. <laughs> 